G'day, what's cracking? Thanks for dropping by. I uh, sent it on a little board, so I thought I'd start getting uh, into editing today's video. The one you're hopefully going to hang around and, and check out because I'm a videographic genius and I know you already can tell because it's not filmed in landscape again. But I'll get there. The next video, I promise it'll be the right way that's not this way. But back to the wine caddy. Now, there's plenty of information out there on the university of the YouTubes or the Google webs on how to, to make them, uh, but they're quick, they're simple, they're easy, and we've got a markets coming up, uh, so we need some smalls just to put on the table, uh, and, and these are great, uh, and I also reckon there's no better way to make your cheap-ass bottle of wine look so goddamn good. Let's go. All right, so we're back in the shop. We've got a markets coming up, so we're going to put together a whole heap of stock. Uh, what we're going to make first today is a bunch of wine caddy holder jobbies. Um, these are the measurements I'm working off. These project, this project's pretty good because all you need is scrap material. It's plenty of scrap down here. So let's go. So the first thing we need to do is some mathematics, unfortunately. We measure the overall length of our piece. We figure out how many wine caddies we can fit in there comfortably. We divide it by a number, take our square, mark our timbers. For us in this situation, it's 85 millimeters wide. Mark the timber, and then we get ready to head over to the mitre saw. All right, now cut those wine caddies to size. It's very important at this point that you keep all your fingers and toes away from that spinny, spinny, cutty, cutty thing. We've cut our piece of scrap into three bits. Next bit is to pick which end you want to be the base and cut a 45 degree angle. Old boys over there setting up the mitre saw, ready to make the cut. The length of our wine caddy is 200 millimetres, but anything from 200 to 220 is fine. So the saw has been set up to 45 degrees. We're going to line the blade up with the corner of the leading edge. Now you can sneak up on that corner and make several passes or utilise the Mark 1 eyeball and some confidence and just nail it on the first pass. It's totally up to you. Step in the process, we need to mark where our hole's going to go. It's 50 mil down from the top. And then when we cut it, we're going to use either a 35 or a 38 millimetre spade bit. Okay, so we've reached that dreaded part of the build where you have to do some math. Just confirm the overall width of your wine caddy, divide that number by two and mark centre. Then you can draw a long line down that centre mark. You want to take a ruler and then mark 50 mil down that centre line. This mark will be the centre of the hole for the wine caddy. Utilising a hole punch and a knockometer, bash in a hole. This will give you a good reference point when you head over to the drill press. Marked uh, where our holes are going to go. We're now setting up drill press. We're going to drill out our holes using a 38 millimeter spade bit. Utilising your mark, you want to start punching through with that spade bit. Now the timber we have here is, as Stainsy would say, hardiest, precarious. So it's very important that you go slowly, yet surely, and make your way through. You don't want to punch the spade bit all the way through on one side. Once you get a little hole on the underside, you flip it over, there's me bludgeon, what a good bloke. You want to flip it over and come back through from the other side. This will ensure you get a nice clean cut. Here we have a few wine caddies, just giving them a dry run through before we move on to the next step. All right, so there's our scrap wood, cut to length, angles cut, holes are in. Now this little end piece here though, it's got a few cracks in it, so we're just going to jazz that up with some star bond, and that should stabilise and hold those cracks for a long time to come. But that's where we're at. Okay, so we've hit that with a bit of star bond, and now we're going to set up, start to around. First things first, we're going to have lunch. The next thing we wanted to do was to apply a round over toward the edges. So for this we simply utilise the hand trimmer with a round over bit. Now you could use a chamfer bit if you like, it's totally up to you. 
Uh, routing does create a bit of dust as you can see, even though we do have the wide attachment onto our extractor. While I was sitting there, I had an epiphany. Why don't I reposition the fan and send the dust in the direction that we want it? And as you can see, that dust is shooting straight into that wide mouth attachment now. Sometimes I even surprise myself. It's hard work, very hard work. Huh. All right. Okay, so they've all received their round over. Now we're just gonna give them a light sanding by hand just to take off some of the uh, burning from the round. And then we can move on to finishing. Okay, so our four caddies are now sanded. Looking schmick. Time to head over to the laser. Okay, so we're over at the laser. Really expensive wine. And the laser is doing its thing. Now these wine caddies are brilliant because you can make them from off cuts. They're quick, simple and easy. And if you do have a laser or something like that, you can customise them. And we know when we customise things, that's more dollary dues in your pocket. Now it's time to lather these babies up in Custom Creations Liquid Beeswax. You could use any type of finish that you like. I just like using this food safe liquid beeswax from Custom Creations by Scott. Absolutely fantastic stuff. You just rub it on everywhere, all up the sides, all over the top. Get inside that hole, you just rub that beeswax all over the place. So good. And look at that timber. It's coming up absolutely mint. How beautiful is that looking? A little, little bit there, yep, got it. All right, beautiful. Now let's give this puppy a test run. Will it hold up my cheap ass bottle of wine? Who would have thunk it? It's good to go. Really cheap bottle of wine, and that ain't no lie, $5.99. This is the batch we ended up knocking out. Already, take to market. Not bad at all for off cuts and scrap wood, I reckon. Well, if you've hung around this long, it's greatly appreciated, and fingers crossed, I'll see you on the next one. Catch ya.